Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is Tropical Stamping Freehand Hybrid Nails and everything will be listed below. I'm going to be working between several plates and I will be freehanding. So there's a lot to it, but I will work you through each step. I will be painting one nail at a time on video and the rest off camera just because there's so much of the design aspect that goes into putting together this look and if you're interested just stay tuned if you are new to my channel hi and welcome I do hope you subscribe give this video a thumbs up I do create videos every week for you with interesting nail art that I wear on my nails that are proven to look really fabulous so stick around and find out how I get this look done so the basics first things first we're gonna add a base coat and we're gonna go in with the first color after I cap my free edge don't be salty by Essie it is a brand new line this is my second new Essie polish and I just had to get it because of the pink Himalayan salted color that adds to the background. It is the background, but it is just as important as the designs that are added on it that creates this look so I really like this polish I'm not crazy about the brush although uh, wearing shorties before I would appreciate a skinny brush <laughs> skinny brushes and small nails work wonders but not on long nails that have huge nail states like mine so the, I smudged it a little bit the first time, this first layer, and I'm going over it the second time with the second layer. I'm going to wait for these to dry and I'll be back. Okay, they're dried. I am going to continue with You Are Beautiful 07. beautiful plate beautiful collection and I always loved this image we're gonna go in with sunkissed and sonic boom I do have orange stamping polish but I just went for this one I don't know why but the uh, sunkissed instead of the orange stamping polish maybe I'm trying to stretch it out I don't know but I really like the way the two colors look together it is a darker color than the born pretty stamping orange stamping polish so we're going to just do a gradient and stamp it onto our nail. You can do this background of the orange and sonic boom two different ways. You can have it have the lines going vertical. Or the way I'm doing it, I'm going horizontal just because it kind of mimics waves of clouds and water just blending together. And I really like how natural the flow of nature is portrayed in that image. Going horizontal, horizontally versus vertically. So after I stamp the flamingo, typography that is a good look on its own um, but I'm gonna continue on I'm gonna add some palm trees with black to black didn't like how this image turned out I stamped it anyways so I'm going to go over it again off-camera 
and I had to use a cleanup brush. I messed up some of the lines and this is me going back to fix it, showing you that, you know, you don't have to be exact. I mean, if you are super OCD, then yeah, you'll have to find a way to just make sure the image stamps perfectly, but I'm not really worried about that. Just need one palm tree, so I'm just going to stamp the palm tree that is going towards the flamingo on the other side, and we're going to add some birds on my thumb. These could have turned out better too, but I'm going to go ahead and stamp. one more I think that's pretty cool I'm going with BPL051 a mandala plate I'm just trying to get some mandalas that mimic a sun and we're gonna stamp it in the corner of the nail stamp it one more time on my pinky nail just trying to clean up around the stamp trying to find a good part of the stamp that turned out and line it up I lined it up pretty cool and very very nicely and we're not done but it looks like it could be done. We're gonna add a crystal at the O of the flamingo. Cause we gotta be extra. I know, I like to be so. <laughs> you can leave it like that. I'm gonna outline the letters in black acrylic paint. There's some water in a little dappin dish, foil, and a little paintbrush. Or if you have a detailer brush, I'm gonna use a toothpick to scoop out some black paint. And then we're gonna use water to, yeah, you get the point. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding lines, black lines to the letters. Um, a good way to start is by doing all the same directional. So I'm, I'm doing all the vertical lines of the letters first. I did that A but just because I was feeling it. So do whatever you feel is the best way to approach something like this. but. There wasn't any other way to, other than using black as part of the stamping to achieve this. So instead of doing vertical and then a horizontal, a vertical horizontal line every other time, 
just do all the vertical lines so you kind of get the hang of your muscle your muscle movements in your hand So the rendered effect is going, well, what I'm going for is a little bit more graffiti style of the flamingo typography, hence the outline so you can kind of see where the letters are. I mean, um, otherwise if you just want the letters just for personal touch, then you don't need to outline it because then you don't need to see it from a distance. But um, I did want them to stand out. So that's why I'm outlining them. And then I'm going to add drips from the letters on the bottom. So I went ahead and outlined the G and a little bit of the O and to start the, the drip drops of the paint. And then I added the flamingo. That was difficult to do to outline the flamingo using a detailer brush. But I was able to. I don't know how I did it though. <laughs> so the drip drops did not turn out perfect, but I did want them bold enough to see that they're um, just very stylized. I didn't want a natural drip of the drops. Okay, so that is what they look like. I cleaned them up and I added a gel top coat, UV LED top coat. Yep, uh, the right thumb has more orange, more fade out look. I like how the, some of the waves on my left hand are going in the same direction. This is just a side view. And then the waves on the, my right hand are going in opposite directions. I'll show you. Here's the detail. Close up. I love the palm tree in the background. I would like a t-shirt that looks like this. I swear like half of my nails I would love to have on a t-shirt. I shouldn't swear, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs 
up button and share this video with your friends who might be interested. I'm on Instagram at the Bombshell Nails, but I will be switching over my channel and there will be a review for next weekend, so don't miss that. Please thumbs this video up again and I'll see you in a while. Oh, 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 oh,